Joining me now is Eva Shockey, who's a hunter and an outdoor lifestyle influencer. Eva, I love interviewing influencers, and you've been hunting for uh, quite some time. But has it has it actually made a difference in your wallet? You know, especially in the last couple of years, when you hunt something that you end up butchering and consuming. Absolutely. This is the lifestyle that I grew up with, so I really didn't understand how expensive meat was, and that was back in the day when I started hunting. Now meat and groceries are so expensive. I was doing the math today, and if you go into a grocery store, for example, we've all been there, and it's just way more than we would like it to cost. Say a steak is $10, $15. You can go get a hunting license here in North Carolina for under 50 if you get a deer, it'll serve your family for the whole fall. That's with just meat instead of getting all these individual steaks. So it's pretty incredible if you turn to the hunting lifestyle and realize how functional it is, besides just being a great way of life, it actually has a huge cost savings to you and your family. Now, Eva, you look like you would be a influencer for makeup or fashion or, you know, but not, I think mean, <laughs> most people see you, they're like, she's not a hunter. But I, a lot of people knew that you were coming on. They asked me, does she butcher, does she butcher her own kills? Do you? It really, de it really depends on the situation. I'm not going to lie. I ah! kind of push that onto my, my husband a little bit more. But what we do do is prep okay. the meat. We'll make summer sausage, dehydrate it. We'll make the jerky. I cook it all the time. So I would say it's a little bit of a combination. But I try to do more of the kitchen side of it and the prepping side of it. <laughs> I like that. Let him do that part. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> now, when when young women hear you know hear about hunting, and I'm I'm not a big hunter, but I I, I respect it. And I think it's fantastic. But they're, they're afraid. People are afraid. Yet it's really, it is back to nature. I mean, if you consume what you kill, that's, you know, that's the ultimate in conservation. If you're obviously respecting, you know, the numbers and so forth as you must. Absolutely. It exactly is. And when I started hunting, I came from a family of hunters. My dad's a big hunter. I didn't personally hunt until I went to university, looked at the grocery bill, kind of what's happening now. I was a broke university kid thinking, what in the world, how wow. I'm going to afford meat? And that's when I started hunting. But it really is something when you say you look at me and you don't think of a hunter. I mean, hunters are not, we're not Elmer Fudd anymore. Things have really changed over the years and anyone can do it. If you get a bow, I was shooting my bow today, you can get out there, you can target practice, you can spend time in the outdoors with your family. And then if you actually want to take the next step to hunting to source your own food, you actually get to live that 365 lifestyle as well, where you think about it when you eat it, you appreciate cool. the animal. There's no antibiotics and all that kind of stuff that we're putting in our body. It's really a win-win. Now, do you have the bow there? Is that the bow next to you? It is. This Let me is, see I'm the shooting bow. this this afternoon. It? It's right here. Can you see it? It's oh, actually yeah, named after me. It's the Eva bow, but this is it's ah. from Bowtech. It's it's my favorite. <laughs> That's uh, pretty cool, and it's a nice color. It goes with your outfit. All right, Ava, great to see <laughs> you. you as always. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.